man, this has been a crazy Yankee season. But I guess that's nothing compared to the mid-2000s when chaos reigned. What was that? George Steinbrenner? What are you doing here? This is even crazier than the time that Roger Clemens suddenly appeared in your owner's box. I've been talking over with the Babe, Joe DiMaggio, and Mickey Mantle, and they all seem to think that you're the guy to lead the Yankees to glory. You want me? You want me to manage the Yankees? Now I'm going to send you back to 2005. That's right after we lost to the Red Sox in that horrible series. It's your job to motivate the players. And if you don't do a good job, you're going to be fired. Just like Billy Martin. What? Okay, so here we are. We're playing MVP e Baseball 2005. I'm aware that serious hardcore gamers consider this game to be in the god tier of baseball video games. So let's get to it. Dipping into Dynasty mode. I'm going to go with the defaults aside from all-star difficulty, injuries and suspensions being major leagues only. I'm not using unlockable players, and as you can see, everything else I'm keeping on. So the Yankees are ranked third overall out of all the teams in the game. Uh, these are the default rosters, the only changes being Bonds and Millar's names added. Okay, here's our Dynasty goals. As you can see, they expect us to win two World Series in three years. Okay, here we have the Yankees opening day depth chart. I'm pretty happy with the catchers here. Posada and Flaherty, not going to make any changes. I'm a big Giambi guy. And I didn't obviously, think any Yankee fan loves Tino Martinez. I know I shouldn't say this, but I think Tino Martinez is super foxy, girl. I'd like to upgrade second base. I'd like to improve over Tony Womack. And Jeter is our main guy, He's no doubt there. Angel. Here's A-Rod, uh, concerned about the contract, six years, over 25 million. There's Hideki Matsui, another fan favorite. Only signed to one year, so I'm going to go ahead and get that extension done ASAP. Bernie's also on a one-year deal, but he's getting older, and you can see his fielding is declining. Gary Sheffield still is a big bat at age 36, but between him and Bernie Williams, I think too many fly balls are going to drop in, so I'm definitely looking to improve the defensive range. The big unit, Randy Johnson, leads the staff. Carl Pavano, Mike Messina, Kevin Brown, Jarrett Wright, and Tanyan Sturtz. Overall, I want to get the starting rotation a bit younger and get guys who are going to be in the prime of their careers as opposed to coming out of their prime. Obviously, Mariano Rivera is as good as it gets as a closer. I really like Tom Gordon as a setup man. Some quality veterans in the pen, like Mike Sanson and Paul Quantrill. Uh... They're all on one-year contracts, so I'm going to have to figure out who's going to stay long-term. Let's go ahead and take a look at the payroll. There's $29.4 left in the bank, but as you can see, a lot of guys on one-year contracts. Going to go ahead and give Matsui a three-year extension at the same rate. And Mariano wants four years, and obviously he's a closer, not a reliever. You know, is four years too much for someone his age? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to take that gamble. So I know exactly the first trade I'm going to make. I'm going to go ahead and send Carl Bobano to the Mariners and pick up Ichiro in the deal to have a guy who can cover tremendous ground in the outfield, has a rocket arm, can steal tons of bases, and obviously is an amazing godlike hitter. So if I can send Pavano and get back Ichiro and two prospects on the deal, I think that's a big win. So as I mentioned, I don't love the Yankees' outfield range. That's why I'm going to go after Andrew Jones. So basically between him and Ichiro, fly balls are going to go to die in the outfield. We're going to go ahead and send Tony Womack and Jarrett Wright to the Braves. And hopefully we can squeeze a couple prospects out of the deal.
coincidentally, Andre Jones and Ichiro were both brief Yankees in real life. So if I can get them a few years earlier, then I'm going to get some of their better years. Now, I'm not doing this for sentimentality, but let's go ahead and get Andy Pettit from the Astros. I mean, why not grab a lefty like that? And I figured out that all I need to do to get him is give up three expendable relievers, in my opinion. Felix Rodriguez, Steve Carse, and Brett Prince. So, again, I feel like that's a no-brainer kind of trade. While we're at it, let's go ahead and pick up the future ace in CC Sabathia. 24, he has his best years ahead of him. And you know what? My outfield is going to get kind of old, so let's go ahead and get Grady Sizemore. I'm going to go ahead and send Tanyan Sertz away in the deal. Uh, throw in one of our best prospects to get this deal done. And go ahead and add another prospect. Okay, to get this deal done, I'm willing to give up Tanya inserts and a pair of prospects. Uh, I'm going to actually give up one of the best prospects in the system right here, the first baseman, and a bullpen arm. So that does the trick. As I mentioned earlier, I want to get an upgrade over Tony Womack, who we decided to trade to the Braves. So let's go ahead and get Soriano back. I'm going to give up Prospect Jorge De Paula. So we're going to go ahead and give up Jorge De Paula and Andy Phillips. I think these guys are kind of overaged AAA players, and I don't see them in the future. So there you go. Three prospects who are kind of on the old side for Soriano. Let's get that deal done. Now we're going to dip into the free agency pool, fill out our roster. I'll be happy here if I can get Roberto Hernandez on the cheap. And I'd love to get Jeff Nelson back in pinstripes. So it seems like he doesn't want a one-year deal, and I feel like I can't go much higher than $5 million. So I'm going to go ahead and meet its demand of two years and $2.3 million. Okay, we added some good bullpen arms, and we need one more player to fill out the roster, and that's a middle infielder. I love that Mark Macklemore can pretty much play anywhere on the diamond, but he is 40. I think for 400k, I think uh, Macklemore is a great bargain, but I think I like Enrique Wilson's bat a little bit more. So he's going to be our backup infielder. Okay, so let's take a look at the contracts of some of the players we just acquired. I know that down the line, CC is going to get paid, but for now, let's try to save costs and get him signed up for $3.8 million for three years.
5.4 million for Soriano for three years. I think that's really good value there. And it leaves us with exactly 10 million to play with. The magic day has arrived, opening day 2005, and we're ready from the Bronx. Let's go. I'm giving the opening day ball to Andy Pettit. He's going to go up against Kurt Schilling. Zip, don't get scared now. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko, and again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. Okay, Andy, this is your time. Pull down that started. hat tight. Let's go On after Johnny to Damon. The game, Andy Pettit. Tonight, a junior circuit showdown between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Go Yankees! Yeah, Yankees! Oh yeah! The game's first batter oh, yeah. is Johnny Damon. Try right, three. Let's go. We move forward to the top of the fourth. Pettit's been cruising along up to this point, but up comes Jason Veritek, and he delivers a ball that splits the outfielders and goes to the and wall. The Andrew Jones comes man. up with it, but it's too late. Red Sox off to a one nothing lead. The first run of the game. Gary Sheffield like rips the ball the opposite way, putting runners on first and third for Alfonso Soriano. What a good job of base running he did right there to get from first to third. Soriano. Soriano up now and he drives the ball up the middle, tying the game at 1 1. A run scores on the play. RBI base hit. Well, the starter just hangs over the plate and the guy just took full advantage of it. Right, Top of the seventh, Tom Gordon trying to work himself out of a jam. Situation. Up to the plate comes Edgar Renneria and oh no, oh no, that's long gone. Red Sox take a 4 1 lead. Wow, that was smoked out of here, no doubt about it. Bottom of the seven, Hideki Matsui up with the bases loaded, golden opportunity, and Godzilla gets all of it. Yankees take a 5 4 lead. Shot. Trot Nixon corks the line drive, but waiting for it He's is Andrew Jones, third. who guns out Jay Payton Up at the plate. Three, and we'll go to the bottom of the inning. Top of the ninth, Mariano Rivera trying to put a bow on this he game. This Red Sox the down to the last out. Long oh no, gone. Johnny Tateman crushes it, and the Red Sox tie it. There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. Corey decides to leave in Rivera for the top of the 11th. Kevin Millar at the dish, and oh no, Rivera hangs it. 6-5, Red Sox. He knew that one was gone the second he hit it. What a shot. He sends it over towards first. And, and the Red the Sox beat the Yankees in the season opener, 6-5. to five. Still, that's fine. I'm fine. Manti picks up the win. Rivera is saddled with the loss. Keith Folk closes it out for the save. The final score, the Boston Red Sox, 6. The New York Yankees, 5. So game one didn't go as planned. We're going to go ahead and make a transaction, bring in... Ramiro Mendoza as a long reliever. Just do one thing for me. Get Mendoza. He can be our long reliever slash spot starter. To make room for a Mendoza on the roster, we're going to send Ruben Sierra to AAA. I don't really see him getting too many at-bats. Okay, so game two has been a rain out, so we're going to have a Day-night doubleheader on April 6th. Okay, for game two, we're going to give the ball to Randy Johnson. He'll be going up against former Yankee David Wells. 
And Bernie Williams will get some at bats playing left field. The Red Sox I think after an 11 inning game, game that was pretty taxing on the bullpen, I, I think it's up to Randy Johnson to go Kruko. pretty deep in this it one. Like a great day for Maybe day. instead of the big oh, unit, it's, it's we'll start calling me the long unit. I can't unit. wait to see how this thing's going to unfold. The starting pitcher, Randy Johnson. We well, move to the bottom of the seven. Wells and Johnson locked in a pitcher's duel. Andrew Jones takes it deep to left field. But Manny Ramirez robs him. Incredible. What an amazing Who would have thought grab. that this guy could do that? Unbelievable. With two innings remaining, the game is scoreless. We move forward to the top of the ninth. Johnson still going strong. David Ortiz at the dish. He's trying to get him to chase something low, it's but misses, but it's hit right way. to Derek Jeter, who ends the Side inning. Retired. Heading into the bottom of the inning, the game is scoreless. Top of the 11th, Ramiro Mendoza in, Renneria up. Renneria skies it to center, center field. Jones. Andrew Jones under it. No problem. He tries to show off his cannon, but Jay Payton gets in easily. one nothing Red Sox. Renteria got under it, hit a deep Jones seems to hesitate third, getting the ball out of his glove. Payton takes off. A dramatic slide. He would have scored standing up. Way off the catcher's target. Bottom of the 11th. A-Rod at the dish. Yankees out there. Last out. And he pops out to first base. So the Yankees have dropped back-to-back -back extra inning games against the, the rival Sox Red Sox to open the season. Two-game winning streak. The win is picked up by Mike Timlin. Mendoza is the loser. Keith Fulk picks up the save. The final score, the Boston Red Sox won New York 0. Not the kind of start the Yankees wanted from Games 1 and 2, but the Yankees are hoping to salvage a win in Game 3 of the series. I'm sending out Mike Messina for the third game of the series. He'll be going up against Matt Clement. My only change to the lineup will be replacing Giambi with Tino Martinez. Lately, Giambi's been struggling, so I'd like to give Tino a chance. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper, joined by Mike Kruko for tonight's MVP baseball game. Taking them on to start for the home team, Mike Mussina. Tonight's American League game features the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Here's Alfonso Soriano. Bottom of the second, Alfonso Soriano steps up to the plate, and he's able to take the pitch to the opposite field, shoots it through the infield, and the Yankees get off to a one nothing lead. Run of the game. Tell you what, there wasn't much room to work with over there, but he finds that hole, hits a ground ball through it, gets the RBI. Corey Posada right looking to this extend the Yankees inning. Really he drives it deep to center field, but Johnny Damon reaches That's out and robs him. Play. After two innings, the score is one to nothing. We move forward to the bottom of the fourth. Alfonso Soriano Strokes up with the bases loaded. The he skies it to left field. Ramirez under nice it. Catch by Ramirez. And the Yankees extend their lead to the two nothing. Comes in to score on the sacrifice fly. It's a good job right there. That's good baseball. Sack fly the outfield, score the run, put an RBI in the scorebook. Bottom the eighth, here comes A-Rod, and he drives There's the pitch deep into the opposite field, Wait, and it's gone. Yankees increase their advantage to 3 nothing. It's an A-Rod from A-Rod. Mariano Rivera looking to pick up the save. He seems to locate it exactly where he wants, but Manny Ramirez drives it into Monument Park. Two-run homer, cutting the Yankees' lead to 3-2. There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. Rivera trying to hold on to the Yankees' lead. Kevin Millar 
drives it to right field, but Ichiro is there, and the Yankees finally get their first win of the season. The Yankees escape a sweep at the hands of the rival Red Sox, and next series up will be against the Baltimore Orioles at home. I hope you've been enjoying this Dynasty playthrough so far. The Yankees will be playing the Baltimore Orioles next, and that's where we'll pick it up. Uh, please subscribe and recommend the channel to your friends if you're enjoying this content. Until next time, be well and let's go Bombers!